Hey guys, what's up? Rice Christian Ryan. And, uh, I apologize if you can hear Skype noises. I'm pretty sure you can't because I'm using this microphone, of course. But, if you can hear Skype noises, I do apologize. Um, hold up. Let me unplug my headphones, even, because I wouldn't want... Because I, I, I use Beats, and I wouldn't want the gameplay sound to, um, be loud enough. If I take the Beats off my head, be loud enough to be into the speakers. But anyway, uh... Odd intro, but odd intro for an odd commentator, because, you know, I love the commentaries. I'm going to start getting into commentaries a lot more, because uh, today I stocked up on a lot of gameplay. I have five or six more games, got some Halo still stocked up, got a lot of good Call of Duty, but this gameplay is 2v2 on a ground. Me and my bro, his uh, gamer tag is the noob smuggler. Haha, <laughs> very funny, I know. This game I actually go, I think, 22-0. and 0. Um... I would have got a mob in two kills, but <clears throat> the game ended. As you can see, I'm using specialist. Er, no, this isn't the game I went 22 and 0. I don't think so, cause I I have two gameplays from this map. So we're playing against the same two people too. Anyway, um, so today topic for this commentary, um, it's kind of gonna be about gameplay, but not about the gameplay, this specific one. Um, recently, as in last night, night before last, me and a couple of my bros were hopping on Modern Warfare 3, and we realized that there were a lot of clans, and I mean a lot, as in full parties, teams of six, regardless if they all know each other, regardless if they were all planning to be on a full team together, regardless if they were all random in a party, and just er, random in a lobby, decided to invite everyone into the party, look at me, I almost get bashed by the riot shield. But I saved the day. Anyway, regardless if they were all just in a lobby together, started talking, decided to be in a party, got invited, put the same clan tag to be intimidating, and they were always on the same team, so you knew they were in a party. But anyway, because of the clan operations, and I, I find that um, it's good that they finally put stuff in to have incentives for people to play certain ways, actually play the objective, because, um, <clears throat> I mean, even with the clan operations, I'm not sure if people are totally clear on what to do i might post a clip later on tonight tomorrow maybe it depends um there was there we were playing on resistance i think it was domination and me and my friend joined in me and my bro joined in and we were late we were down by like 20 points but we realized the other team was just all sitting back sniping. Like, they were in the little shop at the um, at B. It was, I think, Seaside, but at B, the little shop. You guys know what I'm talking about, where everyone sits in and snipes. Their whole team was in there. I went in there, cleared three of them out. The other three ran out the back. He cleared the other three out. We took B. We had A and B and just won the rest of the game like that. I mean, most people instantly get intimidated when um, the whole six people on the other team have the same clan tag. But... Um, pers uh, basically what I'm trying to say is don't get intimidated by that because you can still make a comeback. Not even, you might not even need to make a comeback. You might have an early lead, pull through, whatever. But also, there is going to be a lot more teams you see. So playing Lone Wolf might be kind of difficult. So I recommend playing Mercenary or Free For All. Um, but I mean, it's not that bad yet. I guess it was because I was playing earlier today during the day. So not many people who are in a clan together might have been on because mostly you run into a lot of clans like even before these operations were up. You run into them like late at night when they were all on. But really, I I like the way that changes people just because they have a group effort to try and be better than another group. But us group of randoms, like that's kind of inspirational. Us group of random people, they didn't have mics. It was just me and my brother that had a mic. And we pulled through and won the game against a full team that had mics. A couple of them were like 11th prestige, but they were all sniping in the back. I mean, I know they were sniping, but I'm not trying to downplay sniping or anything. They just weren't the best. But, I mean, they could have thought they were the best. They tried. They died. We won. We had fun. It was a good game. I didn't have uh, the best KD ever, but I was trying to win, going for the win, protecting the flags, taking the flags, defending the points and such. So, I might post and I might not. Um, if I can find it in the file share, because I, I wasn't recording live at the time, but, yeah, that's pretty much this commentary about clan operations, um, it's kind of short gameplay, I know, 
because the game's almost over. This is right here where I'm trying to get the last couple kills. There's three more kills. Realize I'm on a big streak. My teammate hadn't taken a few kills at the beginning of the match. I would have got the mode, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I mean, I don't really necessarily like it. Like, okay, let's say you're playing with a full team of six. They all have mics. They all, they're all listening to you. You're on a mob streak. Uh, you're on kill confirm. Ten tags left. Tell them don't pick up tags so you can get the mob. That's understandable. But to tell my teammate, my friend that I personally know, not to get any kills in the team deathmatch just so you can get a mob, that's selfish. And it's team deathmatch. So I wouldn't do something like that. But uh, yeah, it's been Magic Control 9. Catch you guys later.